combination valve is one of the most vital components in your brake system. This video gives you an up-close look at the components included in our valve kit, the function of the valve along with proper installation and bleeding procedures. Our combination valves are manufactured out of solid brass and are available for either disc drum or disc disc systems. Several parts are included when you receive our valve kit. You will receive an electrical connector for the brake pressure differential switch along with a mounting bracket for placement of the valve under the master cylinder. A valve bleeder tool is also included and is vital during the bleeding process. Sourcing brake fittings can be time consuming, so we include an assortment of fittings with every valve kit. Many people refer to this valve as a proportioning valve. It is actually called a combination valve. The name comes from its combination of several functions. From the master cylinder, brake fluid travels into the combination valve via two ports on the top of the valve. One is for your front brakes and the other is for your rear. Once inside the valve, the fluid for the front system passes through the metering valve. This holds off pressure on the front brakes, allowing the rear brakes to apply first in a disc drum vehicle. At a preset pressure, the fluid then travels to the front wheels. This happens through the two ports in the body. If desired, one of these can be plugged and not used. Also inside the valve is a pressure differential valve. This portion of the combination valve is for safety purposes. If pressure is lost on the front or rear, anywhere in the system, this valve will slide, causing the electrical connector to turn the light on on the dash, then allow only half the valve to work. This should allow a person to limp their vehicle to a safer place to assess any brake issues. The proportioning valve is the last part of the combination valve. Under a heavy brake situation, such as a panic stop, the proportioning valve controls pressure to the rear wheels and prevents rear wheel lockup. Contrary to popular belief, the valve does not alter any pressure to the rear except in a hard brake situation. As mentioned earlier, a bleeder tool is included. This tool is used during the brake bleeding process. Simply unthread the switch from the valve and replace it with the bleeder tool. With the tool inserted, the pressure differential valve is locked in place and won't be allowed to move. If you don't have the tool inserted, the valve can move due to air being in half of the system. This would then make the bleeding process impossible along with the challenge of trying to recenter the pressure differential valve within the valve body. Once the brakes are bled, remove the tool and replace the pressure differential switch. Fluid should not be lost when removing the tool. For more information or additional technical assistance, call Master Power Brakes at 888-351-8781 or visit mpbrakes.com.